properties of the transformation matrix. One is scaling and another is reflection. Scaling and reflections are caused by the diagonal elements of the matrix T. We are talking of the off diagonal elements or non diagonal elements B and C both equal to 0 and we have the diagonal elements A and B let us say they are non zero. Uh, uh, of course, if uh, all elements are zero typically you are shifting the point to the origin nothing happens basically. Uh, but in this case of scaling and reflection as you see the new coordinates x and y uh, are given by the equation as given in this. Uh, in the in the in the in the slide here x prime is a multiplied by x y prime is d multiplied by y and uh, you are talking of pre or post does not matter you get the same form and we are saying that we are talking of scaling in this case where the x coordinate is transformed by a, a parameter or the element a of the matrix t and the coordinates y of the point is scaled by the element d by the element D or the parameter D of the matrix we can use the word element or parameter of the matrix because these uh, these A, B, C, D four parameters are responsible or four elements of the matrix are responsible for any type of transformation you are going to implement. Okay. Well, uh, assuming B and C are both 0 as given here we are talking about scaling to start with we will move to reflection. Uh, and we know that uh, the x coordinate are scaled by the parameter a and the y coordinates are scaled by the parameter d. If both a and d are same and they are more than 1 there is that is greater than 1 we have enlargement that means the body uh, is uh, what uh, simply I should say zooms out and enlarges in size and scale it scales up. Okay, it grows or expands or enlarges. So, that is the concept which we have when the diagonal elements A and D both are equal. If they are not equal, we will come to that in a moment, but if they are equal, then we have more than one, we have enlargement. And if both are equal, but they are less than one, okay, not negative, I must uh, be very careful, we must be very careful here. There is a fractional number, A and D are both equal, and a fractional number between 0 to 1, we have a compression. Uh, or a reduction in the size or the scale of the object, the ob object appears to be compressed. So, this is what we have as uh, uh, scaling. Now, when both A and D are same, uh, we have what we call as uniform scaling. Uniform means the amount of scale whatever happens either enlargement or compression in both the x and y axis are same and that is why we say that the scaling is uniform. Okay? You can have non-uniform scaling also. Okay. So, that is what we are talking if A is equal to D if the parameter diagonal elements A and D are same we have uniform scaling. So, we can have uniform enlargement you can have uniform compression depending upon both being same and the value being more than 1 or less than 1 respectively we have seen that in the equations and we can also have non-uniform scaling where what A and D are not identical they are not same. If A is not equal to D we have non uniform scaling and if A is equal to D you have a uniform scale. Okay. So, uh, we talk of a scale factor uh, usually when we do uh, um, scaling and these parameters A and D can be replaced by uh, the corresponding parameters X, X and S, Y. S, X represent the scale factor S stands for scale along the X direction and S, Y stands for the uh, scale factor along the y direction. So, we have a scale factor along x which is the parameter a, a scale factor along y which is the parameter d and they are the corresponding diagonal elements the off diagonal elements we are not concerned here for the time being both are kept at 0 and so that is what the uh, scaling will result due to the diagonal elements a and d. We will soon see an example of uh, scaling. Example of scaling, yes, that is what is uh, a nice example. I have taken a simple uh, uh, 3D stru 2D structure and uh, the entire structure is scaled, but uh, what I have marked here is the base of this uh, structure which looks like uh, a you know um, a church or a house, whatever with a triangular roof. On the top, I have marked these two points at the base of. Uh, uh, the structure here and the corresponding coordinates are also given which is uh, 2 comma 1 that means x comma y that means uh, the first point is at 2 and 1 x coordinate is 2 
y coordinate is 1, the other point is x coordinate is 3 and y coordinate is 1. You can see the x and y axis it is approximately uh, aligned and, and shown 3 comma 1, 2 comma 1 and what I do? This entire structure is scaled with a transformation matrix where the scale parameter along x direction is 3 and the scale parameter along y direction is 2. So, we have basically in this a non-uniform scaling number 1 and since both these parameters are more than unity or more than 1, we have non-uniform expansion or non-uniform enlargement. Okay? You have non-uniform because A is not equal to B or S x is not equal to S y and you have an enlargement or expansion because uh, uh, why? Uh, because the both the values are more than 1. If both the values would have been less than 1, you could have have uniform uh, compression or non-uniform compression. Okay. So, let us look at the example which shows an example of um, non-uniform expansion from the left to the right and this structure becomes something like this. As you see here, if you multiply this matrix uh, elem uh, elements uh, 2 comma 1 and 3 comma 1 with this matrix with the corresponding diagonal elements 3 and 2 of diagonal elements 0, the 2 comma 1 will uh, become 6 comma 2 and 3 comma 1 will become 9 comma 2. Okay? So, that is the transformation, the values are shown for only 2 points, but the same amount of scaling with respect to the governing equation of transformation will be applicable for all the other points and lines of the object. Of course, lines are a little bit tricky, but I can assume that there are 5 vertices in this uh, structure. The bottom 2 are shown, uh, the values are shown basically and on the top there are 3 again. So, those 3 and the bottom 2, all these 5 are transformed in a uh, identical fashion and the values for only 2 of these points are, are shown. Okay? So, you can see this is an example of a non-uniform uh, enlargement or expansion. You can actually visualize this, uh, visualize a non-uniform compression also with this figure. In with this figure, how? Well, if I say that my S x is 1 by 3 and S y is 1 by 2, that means I am trying to compress this enlarged figure back to the original figure. That means uh, when expansion I am moving from left to the right, that means the small figure is enlarged to the right hand side figure, but I can, you, I can ask you to also visualize the reverse process or the inverse process as it is called. The matrix inversion will slowly come as we go along, okay? um, because every process is a, almost a reversible process here. So, you should be able to start with the larger structure and uh, give it a compression or a reduction and scale it down to the smaller structure. So, in this case you will need a non-uniform reduction or compression and the corresponding parameters S x and S y, I leave it as an exercise for you can try it out, will be nothing but just the reciprocal, the elements you still have the off diagonal elements to be 0 and the diagonal elements to be uh, uh, non-zero and those values will be just 1 by 3 or 1 by 2 respectively. That means, just 1 by S x and 1 by S y respectively. That is the inverse of the matrix with the diagonal limits. You should be able to check it out and apply the same you on the point coordinates to see that from 6 comma 2 now, you get 2 comma 1 and from 9 comma 2, you get 3 comma 1. Okay? You can find out the other coordinates of here. Also, some of them could be in floating point or integers does not matter. You should be able to get back the corresponding coordinates. Okay? Now, so we have been talking about scaling and, uh, and the values of the S x and S y which are the diagonal terms. We have uh, talked that if the equal and unequal, they give non-uniform and uniform scaling. Uh, and if it is more than 1, you have an expansion. If you have less than 1, but greater than 0, that means fractional number gives a reduction or a compression. What happens if I go to the other part of the scale? That means if I make these diagonal elements negative. So, that is what is given in the slide. What if S x and or S y are negative or less than 0? That means either one of these or both. Okay. We will see examples when one of them uh, is only 0 and the case when both are 0. We will check both of these uh, S x and X y uh, either or both are 0. You do not get a scaling, but we will see with an example now that you get reflections through an axis or plane. What is a reflection? You typically have a reflection on a mirror.